what's up kids? It is Harry Potter week on Life Changes Everything, and that's probably a no-brainer. I mean, all of us met in the Harry Potter fandom in various areas. Some of us are wizard rockers, some of us are people who are just active in the fandom for various reasons. One of us is a New York Times bestselling author who actually wrote a book about the Harry Potter fandom. So we've been planning for a while to have a Harry Potter week, and I guess it just occurred to us that, hey, on the week that the Deathly Hallows movie is being released, or at least the first part of it, it makes sense for us to talk about Harry Potter. The major life changes I've had over the past few years have had a lot to do with the Harry Potter fandom. A few weeks ago, I told you guys about my brother's death and about the breakup of my first engagement and my best friend passing away a few days after that. These events correspond with my forming a wizard rock band and eventually playing my first show at the 2005 Yule Ball, releasing my first wizard rock album, and eventually starting to sort of take the whole thing a little bit more seriously. I went on my first wizard rock tour in May 2007 and it was awesome. I actually broke even financially, which in my mind was like the coolest thing in the world at the time. And I ended up booking a tour for the summer. I booked three weeks, again, on my own, but my new housemate, Kate, came with me. And then I also booked another three-week leg with the Remus Lupins. Also, I played Phoenix Rising in May, and I played at Prophecy in July, or August, or whenever it was. It was right after the last book was released, and Prophecy, in a lot of ways, was incredibly life-changing. Phoenix Rising was kind of a blur. It was very messy. It was one of the first times that all of these wizard rock kids were getting together in, in person, sort of getting to know each other beyond just the internet. Prophecy was like an explosion of craziness. In a lot of ways, it was the first time that a lot of wizard rock bands felt like legitimate celebrities or stars. And I guess in a way, that created some issues. That's a story for another time. We'll get into that. Probably never. But basically this, you know, this whole thing, the two conferences, Phoenix Rising and Prophecy, and then a very successful summer tour uh, where I not only broke even, but actually made a significant amount of money, the same amount of money that I was making in my day job, and also pursuing my dream that I'd had since I was like 15. All of this stuff combined, and when I got back to Rhode Island and went back to my day job, I was just like... I cannot do this at all. So in October of 2007, I left my job. And literally two days later, I began my fall tour. How this all ties into the issues that I was having in 2006 and the mourning and grieving of my brother and my best friend and the getting over of a relationship that I thought would end in a lifetime of togetherness. Basically, Wizard Rock saved my life. Wizard Rock was giving me something to be really happy about and proud of, and you know, it was introducing me to all these new people who I never thought I would actually meet in person. I just formed so many friendships in the fandom, it is just unreal. Now it's like every place I go to, every city across the country and parts of Canada, I look forward to seeing specific people, and these are real friends, and a lot of them are on this channel. And of course, there's the obvious tie-in with the whole marriage aspect of my part of this channel. I met Lauren at a Wizard Rock show that we were both playing in 2006, and we became friends through that. Over time, we actually developed a really close friendship, and we eventually got to a point where we were both ready for a serious relationship. To think that this all started with my inviting Harry and the Potters to play in my apartment in Woonsocket in late 2004, there is absolutely no way that I could have ever predicted this. And that's, in a way, what this whole channel is about, that life changes come at you in really weird ways, and circumstances shape you in ways that you can't predict. I'm just going to be a real dork right now and request that you guys leave in the comments what your favorite Harry Potter movie is so far. And if you predict that the Deathly Hallows movies are going to be better than the first six that have come out, just put Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2. 